Well, Alexis, you and Justin spilled your truths about your marriage, but you didn't have much to say. Let's watch that back. Even if I'm not making you happy, I will make somebody extremely happy. I'm thankful for the time we spent together. I'm thankful for the good times. I'm thankful for the bad times. I'm thankful for you. That's where I'm at. Is it? That's it. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Don't make that face. What? Girl, Girl that Girl. was like, I like this, I like that, and I want a divorce. Yes. Was it really? Girl, that was like a see you later, peace that out, it was. we done. It was almost like an RIP. Deuces. Yeah. Bye. But in your defense, Alexis, you seem really shut down in that scene. Like, you seem like tired and exhausted. Can, can, I, can I say something real quick? You could see it all over your face. You could feel it all in your energy. So what made you decide not to speak your truth? I've been speaking my truth at this point mm -hmm. for a full month and counting. Mm -hmm. If I felt like it was going to make the difference, I would have said it. I've been begging him to open up. I've been begging him to tell me these things that he's telling me in this moment. And I didn't want to overshadow that. I wanted him to stand on it and feel like, hey, I can tell my wife things and she won't come back at me and attack me. So I wanted him to feel safe. And in order to do that, I had to be quiet. Okay. So Justin, something that he did say that was interesting is that he feels like he's number two. When it comes to your friends, I feel like I'm number two when it comes to your dog. And I don't think I'll be number one. Do you feel like it's true? Uh, I do not feel like it's true, but it, it did bring some insight, because prior to this conversation, I had no idea. Okay. So for me, I was more so like, OK, well then, now that I have this knowledge, I can do better. I can check in and make sure he doesn't feel this way. Okay. But prior to this moment, I had no idea. OK. What do you think, Beth, of Alexis here? I just feel like you were really shut down at that point. Yeah. And like you said, you've been very honest. And at this point, there's nothing you could say or do to convince this person that you're here for the right reasons. And secondly, yeah, you're going to come second to my dog. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. And my dog, Jamie, I'm sorry, baby, if you see this, but like my dog, Jamie, still to this day. <laughs> so if the roles were reversed with the dog situation, would you give Newton up? For sure. I would send him to my mother. Newton has lived with my mother in the past. OK. Um, just me being a free spirit and traveling. OK. And as soon as my mom heard Newton was attacked. She was she, like, send Newton yep. to me. She said, give me my grandson. <laughs> she said, send him now. And you know, I considered it, but yeah. I'm just like, wait, my baby's not in the wrong, you know? So I don't want to play the blame game, but I would have for sure sent him back. Let's change topics. Beth, was there ever a point that you checked out on your season? Yeah, absolutely. I was getting exhausted from the conflict. Sometimes Jamie can be over analytical. Mm -hmm. And to me, I was just exhausted from that. How did you come back from that? Like, what advice do you give these ladies? Um, just start to see the person. Like, just put yourself in their shoes and try to understand that person and who they are. And know that they're not out to get you. They didn't wake up this morning and said, how can I mess their day yeah. up today? I had to accept that Jamie was a little bit more over analytical and um, sensitive than I was. Yeah. And I accept that about him, and I accept that about him now. But that would be my best advice, is accept your partner for everything about them. How does it feel seeing these very private conversations? You're, you're exposed. Okay. I felt butt naked. Yeah. Okay. But it's beautiful, though, guys. Like, I will say it's beautiful, because you have no idea how many people you're helping right now. It's helped me, and it's helped my marriage. So take it from somebody who's literally looking at you saying thank you so much for what you guys have done on this season. It's really beautiful. You just have to stand in your truth and learn the lessons.